Jay Bone here for Smash This Podcast. How are you doing tonight? Uh, wow. Just watched WWE 24 on the network, the Goldberg special. Let me tell you folks, um, <laughs> if you're a Goldberg fan, this is definitely one you want to watch. Um, if you know my channel and you know me, you know I am a big Goldberg fan. This special, I can tell you, is everything I wanted it to be. Um, it's <laughs> it's more and more nowadays that WWE decides to pull back the curtain and and show us the behind the scenes of uh, unique and special moments that happen, um, you know, especially for fans and special, you know, kids with disabilities, stuff like that, you know, um, moments where, uh, the superstars get together with fans and, um, share moments. Well, Goldberg, Goldberg is unique. He really is. You know, and fans nowadays probably, a lot of fans nowadays probably don't get that. I'm not saying that none of them do, but from someone who started watching wrestling again in the late 90s up until now, I've seen so many different things happen. And to come back to wrestling and have Goldberg be one of those things that was actually a draw back then. There was nothing like him. And to watch this special, to have them pull back the curtain and watch him physically and mentally prepare for this comeback, to have his family involved, um, it's it's an emotional roller coaster if you're a, if you're a fan like I am, uh, let me tell you. I got choked up a couple times watching this. It's it's emotional, you know. And it, and they prop props to the department, uh, production department that puts chops this up, puts it all together, the footage, the interviews, everything, um, the the little moments with uh, interviewing Triple H. Vinnie Mac, you know, Vince McMahon, Paul Heyman, and then those backstage segments where Goldberg's just being Bill, and he's just rapping with people. Um, I think one of the most special moments of this whole thing, him showing up uh, behind the scenes at this year's, uh, this last WrestleMania before he was going to face Brock and defend his Universal Championship. <clears throat> um, and he's... He, he, um, he hugs uh, Taker. And they have a little moment backstage together. Wow! You know? Think, didn't think we'd ever see something like that. Seriously, that was that was cool, and it was it was so brief, but it was it was special. You know what I mean? And um, he was. I mean, they really they really got personal with this one. You know, they talked about how unhappy he was, and how how he was really feeling going into this, like, I'm not going to have any fun. 
and by the end of the pro this whole process, you know, first it started out six weeks, and then it started into a 16-week trek, going from um, you know through the first you know few months of 2016, leading up to WrestleMania. That that comeback match at Survivor Series last year. That's a year old now. Crazy that it that happened a year ago. And then him deciding that he wants to have one more run in the ring, as brief as it was, but it was special. And, you know, I, I had many a discussion with my my podcast brethren of, you know, and they had some of them turned their nose up at it. Some of them, some of them thought it was pretty cool. Some of them loved it. Some of them hated it. But whether you loved it or whether you hated it, you were watching. You were watching because you wanted to see that glimpse of the old Goldberg or you wanted to watch him fail. It was one of the two. There's no gray, you know? And, you know, I saw so many fans, like uh, like Jason from, one unique one was watching uh, a, a, a pod, another podcast guy like me, um, Jason from the New Age Insiders. The video's out there. Go watch it. That was, that was so fun, watching him experience that comeback as a fan. It's just wild. It's so over the top. It's hilarious. It's awesome, you know. I get goosebumps just thinking about it because I was I was that happy too, you know. Um, to watch him go through the training he went through, the match at Survivor Series against Brock, and then anything else after that was going to be icing on the cake. Had no clue it was going to go into what it was going to go into. The fast lane match against Kevin Owens, making history. That special moment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Him becoming champ. Yeah, I wish I was there, but watching it all again, wow. You know, I remember how emotional that was for me watching that. I was... It's like going through it all over again. But that uh, that moment with his kid, you know, that kid is never gonna forget that. You know, um, and then the ride into Mania. And then even, you know, knowing that he's going to lose to Brock at Mania, he went in there and he was smiling. He had fun. You know, and it's just to see the whole transformation of him from, from Bill to Goldberg, back to Bill, and then the night after Mania, and the farewell. And then you, you don't know if he's ever going to come back again. But what a physical and mental wreck he was. And I don't mean it as an insult, you know. To have... I give him a lot of credit. You know, he's one of those private individuals who's not in social media 24-7. Putting himself out there. And into to be back in the spotlight and and do the rhetoric of the the media and everything again and bring his family along for the ride yeah i i can imagine that had to be absolutely insane for him to you know do that all again but it was it was different this time it was a different locker room same boss but a different boss, you know? 
He, he gave Vince a hug several times, and even after his last match, gave him a hug, you know. That's, that says something. It really does. Just this whole thing, watching the whole road from last fall up until Mania, and then the night after Mania. So special. It really was. Thank you, WWE, for showing a fan like me, who's an older wrestling fan. I'm 43, you know? And, um, and, and, and remembering, again, what an inspiration someone like Bill can be, even to a guy like me, who's been through a lot this year, physically. Um, it's like, man, if... <laughs> No, of course, I would never get in the ring. But just the simple thought of, hey, if he can do it, I can do it. You know? That's inspiring. So um, so that's my thoughts on this special. I didn't want to drag this out too much. Um, you know, I'm <clears throat> still not 100%. But uh, this was something I definitely wanted to talk about. I've been waiting for this for several months now. Ever since they said they were going to put this out there, I've been looking for it. And, um, yeah, it's been a year since it all started with the hype, the video game, and then the Survivor Series and everything after that. Like I said, icing on the cake. So that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. We're on the road to 400 big ones that's right folks 400 subs personal goal trying to reach that by the end of the year would be tremendous in my opinion um ring that bell for uh notifications for my videos give the video a like give the channel a sub and we'll see it on the road for the next one got a few in mind what i'm gonna do and the survivor series Oof, yeah, it's right around the corner. Survivor Series predictions will be up soon, along with a couple other uh, topics I'm working on doing soon, within the next week or so. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.